What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer is back for the weekend. So let's go check him out, he's on the speaker side of the tower once again and uh, let's see what he has for the weekend. So sorry for not uploading any Zer video last week as well as some of the reward videos that I usually upload on a weekly basis but I actually was away on a trip and I just came back so... I will resume my weekly uploads and uh, show you guys some of my rewards and stuff for this week. So stay tuned for all that. So here we go into his inventory for the weekend. Looks pretty much like old stuff. Uh, so let's get into it. For the Titan, we have the Helm of Saint-14 helmet. Pretty good helmet. I'd recommend it 100% if you are a Titan and you do not have this yet. Uh, really good. It blinds your enemies when you use your Water Dawn. So that's really helpful. Even in PvP sometimes, but mainly a PvE uh, helmet for the Titan. For the Hunter, we have the Young Ahamkara Spine Gauntlets. And basically what this does is it makes your trip mine last a little bit longer when you place it. Uh, that's the main perk on it. I'd go ahead and pass on this because this one's just an okay Hunter exotic. Uh, there are better ones that I prefer using my exotic spot on than this one. And then for the Warlock, we have the Obsidian Mine Helmet. Really cool helmet. Uh, Noble Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Noble Bomb. That's the main perk on it. And that's really good, especially uh, in PvE when you got lots of enemies bunched up. If you drop a Noble Bomb on them, you can pretty much gain your Noble Bomb or your Super uh, right back instantly. So it's really cool. You can create some good combos when you use like Bad Juju or guns that boost your Super Energy, stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I'd recommend this if you don't have this as a Warlock. And then for the gun of, of the weekend, we have the Mita Multi-Tool Scout Rifle. Really good weapon, pretty decent in Crucible sometimes as well as PvE. I'd recommend it. It's really good. It also makes you a little bit quicker with this perk. Uh, this weapon boosts movement speed and fires on a hair trigger. It also has Third Eye on it, which is good for Crucible as well, so it's pretty good. I'd recommend it if you don't have it. It's a pretty decent scout rifle. And then he's also selling the exotic engram. And this week is a chest engram. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up a couple of these. And we're going to try to see if we can get the new uh, House of Wolves Warlock exotic. I believe there's only one new uh, chest piece for the House of Wolves in general. I don't think there are any for Hunter or Titan. I think it's just Warlock. So uh, we're going to try to see if we can get that for the Warlock, for my Warlock. And uh, it's called Purifier Robes, I believe. I'm not sure if that's the correct name. I think that's what it's called. But uh, we're going to try to see if we can get that one. So here we go. Here's Raul. Let's see if we can get some good rolls. So for the first one, we are going to get a Lucky Raspberry. So that's unfortunate. I'm actually wearing that right now. Uh, really good. It's pretty good. I like using a crucible, but I already have the one. So here we go. Last one. Let's see if we can get it. And we get the Heart of Praxic Fire, which is also a good one, but I do already have it. So Lucky Raspberry, 130 Intellect, which is way lower than what I have right now. And we have the Heart of Praxic Fire, which is also really low compared to what I have right now on my Warlock. So that was unlucky for me. Hopefully we can get it in a Nightfall or in something later on because those robes look pretty cool but anyway that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and i'll catch you guys next time peace